Hey, what's going on guys? Calvin Russell here, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're gonna talk about yet another credit repair company being shut down uh, simply because the FTC does not want them to uh, do things the way that they're doing business. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about that. So number one, why is the FTC uh, shutting down, not just credit repair companies, but they why do they shut down financial companies in general? Uh, number one, they don't like companies that promise certain things and then it's difficult for them to uh, guarantee a certain result, right? Um, kind of like if I paint this wall yellow, then when the paint dries, it should be yellow, right? And we all know credit in general doesn't quite work a certain way because everyone's situation is different, things of that sort. Uh, but when you promise that you can get all these things removed and people pay you to get that result that you promised, what ends up happening is you get upset people and then you also get people um, that you know that say, hey, you know, let's go ahead and report this company. And the thing is, is that a lot of people, um, you know, I'm sure that they meant well, but because they built it like a network marketing uh, platform, multi-level marketing, and <laughs> the FTC calls it a pyramid scheme. Uh, however, uh, multi-level marketing is legal, uh, you know, because they don't say it about Mary Kay or Avon, right? Uh, but either way, uh, my point is, is that, um, yeah, there are a lot of companies that oversell um, what they can do for credit repair, guys. Listen, we you guys have been watching enough videos, especially by now, uh, you know, to to know that there are certain results that you can get and there are certain results that you just can't get. And, you know, if you want to work with a reputable company uh, that has the you know, Google reviews, real solid resources, of course, we are an option. Right. Of course, I'm going to say that. However, um, just be careful when you're you no know, if you're going to if you're going to, to make the decision to do business with a company that's in the industry, just do some research. Do research on the company to see um, you know if you know if this is a, a legitimate model. And if you don't like it, you don't have to go with it. There are other options that are available. Uh, we have our you know our game plan package that a lot of people end up going with, but we also have our do it yourself. Uh, package as well too, but no one was. I won't say no one wants to, but um, obviously a lot of people don't necessarily want to do it themselves. There is easier to hire a company to do uh, some of that stuff for you. So if you guys have any, I'm sorry, if you if any of you guys have done business with FES or Financial Educational Services, um, hopefully you will get a piece of the settlement uh, that they are trying to structure together. Uh, but either way, as of now, the company has been shut down. So if you have any, I don't know how that works. Um, you know, especially if you're paying on a because I believe it's a monthly membership that a lot of people had. So hopefully for you, um, if you're paying that monthly membership, you're not going to have any issues uh, getting the services that you paid for. But as of right now, the company has been temporarily shut down and they cannot use any of their assets. All of the accounts have now been frozen. Uh, so that means employees can't get paid. So employees probably won't give you customer service. Uh, but a lot of these companies are going to be getting shut down. You, you know who's going to be next? You know, Lexington Law is probably going to be up there, too, pretty soon. Uh, creditrepair.com potentially and again it's when companies say that they can do all of these things and then the results just don't happen okay and of course at 850 club you never have to worry about that you know of course with working with us some things come off some things don't uh, but however if it's accurate you know and these are things that people don't want to hear uh, but if it's accurate it, they're gonna you know companies are gonna do their job and they're gonna do their best to keep that on there. So what are some alternatives? What are some things that you can do? What are your options? You know, what are your goals? And that's what we focus on here at 850 Club. So do your research with us. You're going to see we we won't be in that kind of trouble uh, because we do things the right way. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it's not even about us. It's just about the consumers. At the end of the day, the consumers just want a certain result. But the problem is too many companies, far too many companies are overselling what they can do for you. OK, so just do some research. That's all I'm saying. Look at the Google reviews. Not everybody's going to be happy, but not everybody's going to be mad. And you got to make the decision for yourself, you know, on what's going to be the best route to go. Are the expectations for what you're trying to accomplish? Do you feel that they've been set properly? Then if so, move forward. OK, so either way, if you like this video or if you know of anyone that's done business with FES, if you used to be a representative with FES, um, you know, I, I know how that. No, man, I, I can only imagine, <laughs> you know, what that ends up feeling like knowing that you you probably had good intentions. Right. And but of course, you probably was oversold too. you know, the, the vision or the dream. So either way, if you like this video, like it, you want to share it, share it. And as always, be sure to subscribe as we have nothing but great content on the way. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Thank you.